Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about stratification in biotic community. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So basically stratification is the vertical layering of a habitat. The arrangement of vegetation in layers based on different heights to which their plants grow is called the vertical layering. The individual layers are inhabited by different animals and plants. So we will now talk about the stratification in grassland. It has three layers, subterranean, floor and herbaceous. Subterranean. Subterranean contains the roots of plants. It provides permanent shelter to bacteria, fungi, earthworms, ringworms, nematodes, etc. Next is floor. Floor contains basal parts of plants. It provides shelter to insects, spiders, reptiles, rodents, etc. Next is herbaceous. Herbaceous is the upper parts of grasses. It provides shelter to birds, insects, grazing mammals, etc. Next, we will talk about stratification in forest. So, it has five different layers. Overstory stratum, understory stratum, transgressive stratum, seedling stratum, subterranean stratum. Overstory stratum. Here you will get trees which have uh, height more than 40 feet and they make canopy. Next is understory stratum. So these trees are found beneath the canopy. Uh, they have height more than 20 feet but below the overstory. Next is transgressive stratum. Here you will get plants who have uh, 4 to 20 feet height. Next is seedling stratum. It begins at the soil level and extends to the lower limit of the transgressive stratum. Next is subterranean stratum. This is the moist layer. It contains humus. It goes up to a depth of 2 to 3 meters. Animals found above the soil are turtles, birds, insects, snakes, rabbits, deer, wolves and foxes, etc. Animals living in humus are fly larvae, beetles, spiders, mites, annelids, nematodes, etc. Next is stratification in pond. It has three main layers, littoral zone, limnetic zone and profundal zone. Littoral zone. It is the shallow water region. It is occupied by rooted plants. The animals found in this zone are snails, insects, zooplankton, small fish, etc. Limnetic zone. It occupies the depth up to which the light penetrates. It is occupied by planktons. The animals found in this zone are insects and fish. Next is profundal zone. There is no penetration of light. No photosynthetic organisms are found in this zone. Animals found in this zone are scavengers and predators. Scavengers are those animals that eat dead organisms. Predators are those animals that hunt other animals. The example of animals found in this zone are crabs, fish like eels, snails, turtles, water spiders, small amphibians, large fish like carp, etc. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.